So let's assume that the solar panel power is 228 watts. Then the power converted going to the battery is 200 six 207 watts this is a 60 ampere mppt solar charge controller guys its model is the sunrock 60 and the brand name is the bateria power so this solar charge controller is from bateria power this solar charge controller is compatible with life po4 batteries agm gel batteries and other types of lead acid batteries with wide range of battery voltage compatibility such as 12 volts 24 36 volts and 48 volts batteries. In this model, the Sunrock 60, we can use solar panel up to 150 volts. The solar panel power can up to 780 watts for 12 volts battery, 1560 watts for 24 volts battery, 2340 watts for 36 volts battery, and 3120 watts for the 48 volts battery. By the way, this solar charge controller comes with free screws and manual. So you can read more about this solar charge controller just like what I am doing. Here in the LCD screen, we can see the battery voltage. It is 12.9 volts. The current going to the battery. The current going to the load side. And the solar panel power. The power going to the load. The total power output from our load side. The solar panel voltage and the battery voltage again. Here at the bottom part, we have the screw for grounding, the temperature sensor wire connector, the RS485 communication port, and our mounting screw. But before we put our wire here, we have to remove the screw in the upper part. And after that, we can put our wire for the battery, for the solar panel, and for our load here. And since it is also a high-powered solar charge controller, it also has a cooling fan here at the top and also I will not use the temperature sensing connector here and this port because I don't have the connector if we're going to use that we should buy it separately and now let's move on to the teardown process let's open it and let's see what's inside and by the way the brand also claimed that the solar charge controller can give up to 98% conversion efficiency which is really higher than the PWM solar charge controller PWM solar charge controller has up to 75% efficiency. So this MPPT is really higher. But let's see if that's true. Okay, I did it. So this is the inner part of the solar charge controller. Look at this guys, it's really massive. Yeah. Look how big this copper is. Capacitors and regulators look at that yeah since this solar charge controller can handle up to 60 amperes that's why the devices and other elements are so massive i will just get it back so i connected the solar charge controller to the battery and let's assume that this power supply is the solar panel so let's assume that the solar panel power is 228 watts then the power converted going to the battery is 206 207 watts so 228 to 208 so let's compute here 207 watts the total power going to the battery from the solar charge controller divided by the power from the solar panel 228 times 100% that is equal to 90% so the efficiency is 90% but this test and competition is not really accurate since the power from the power supply is fluctuating but this is what we get and it's just a simple test 90% efficiency to properly install this setup we just have to follow the instruction from the manual first connect the battery to the solar charge controller and then solar charge controller to the load or to the lamp if we have and then solar panel to the solar charge controller but now i will not use any lamp or any device here at the load side so i will just skip this part i will connect the battery to the solar charge controller so this is the positive here from the color red i will just put here at the battery positive here so this one and then tighten here at the screw at the upper part next one is the negative one 
So this is the negative, the color black here, this part. And we can see it is already turned on. Then tighten again. So now let's assume that these wires, the red and black, are the wire of the solar panel. So the positive here and the negative here. But always remember in the insulation process, always follow the sequence. The battery first and then the solar panel. Because the solar charge controller needs to determine the battery voltage if it is 12 volts, 24, 36 or 48 volts. And then it will regulate the voltage from the solar panel. And here guys, I have already installed the solar touch controller here. Right, so it's now working. Here. And by the way guys, I have been using this solar charge controller 20 amps battery power as well just like this one and it works really good. And if you want to buy this solar charge controller, the Sunrock 60 MPPT, I will just put the link below in our description box or in the comment section below.